Yo folks, it's GP coming at you. I am going to share with you a gift that I've given to Logan, Jake, Danny, other friends of mine to carry around in their cars. Their car, I call it, by the way, I'm only doing this in one take. I call it a comfort bag. A lot of people call it a zombie apocalypse bag, a bug out bag, whatever you want to do it. Get from, run from your wife bag. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I think this bag has something everybody can use in a lot of different scenarios. I like that it's inconspicuous and it doesn't draw attention to you. The no knives on the outside, nothing that's gonna scare people or harm people. First thing I have is, in this bag, a list of everything that's in the bag. So if somebody's in your house with you, you can say, grab the bag out of the trunk, there's a list of everything in there, I think there's something in there we can use. I have a crank flashlight, extra power cord, and another flashlight, okay? So I'm gonna go through this and just leave everything out, show you as I go, kind of tell you why I have what I have. On the side pouch, I have here two of these silver Mylar blankets to keep you warm. Um, you can use them on the beach to keep the sun off you. You can use them to lay down underneath if you're building something, if you're camping out, you're going to a concert, these are great to have everywhere. I also have a notepad with two permanent markers that can write on just about anything, red and black. So if you're lost, you're going somewhere, you can leave notes if you need to. You leave note in your car if you're hiking somewhere, if you're going somewhere, it's just good to have. Then in another little baggie, I have some stuff that's kind of emergency things you might need right away. <coughs> um, clotting pad. I have four tampons, which women, you know what these can be used for. But they're also great for a bloody nose, they're great for other wounds. You can also use these for fishing lure. Take out the tampon part, shred it up, put it on a hook, it's gonna draw, uh, you're gonna be using them to catch fish. So there's a lot of other uses for these. Uh, I have a compass. I have a uh, compass whistle, opens up, you put matches in here, the whistle's great. These are huge. This is going to be heard a lot quicker than yelling, screaming, calling for help. This will be heard through the wind, things like that. Got to have this. Waterproof matches. This is something that's in a military bag. You break this open, you, you get it going, you heat it up, and it'll burn for a long time. They use it primarily for cooking. I have it in here just in case I need to heat something, cook something, start a fire. Then, in addition, I have four of these candles. Good for light, starting fires, whatever. When you're cold, scared, dark, fire is your friend. Then I have some water purifiers. So, you got that covered. On this set, I have first aid kit, wipes, which can be used for everything. I have a spork, spoon, fork combo. Little knife right there. Stainless steel carabiner. Why stainless steel? Because it's super strong, it's very durable. It can carry a ton of weight. You can do a lot of things with this if you need to. Going over to the front pouch. I have an extra pair of cheaters. A lot of people don't have an extra pair of cheaters or contacts in their bug out bag. And guess what? If I lost my cheaters and I gotta find something tonight without my cheaters, I'm gonna be struggling. Gotta have those. Right here, we have cotton balls saturated in Vaseline. These cotton balls catch on fire extremely fast, and each one will burn for eight to 10 minutes. So these will get a fire going in really adverse conditions. Gotta have those. One inch duct tape. Why do I have one inch duct tape? Because the smaller stuff is good for splints on your fingers. You don't have to worry about shredding up, breaking up, um, making smaller pieces. So this, I find works better. I've got a good lock blade knife because I can carry this on my person, put it in my pocket, inconspicuous, not drawing attention. I have a rat trap. Why do I have a rat trap? Well, guess what? If I'm in a situation, I can put just about anything in here for bait, possibly catch a rat, a bird, a squirrel, something to eat. But in addition, you can set this trap up and actually take a, tie a piece of line to it. If you're in an area where you don't want people coming, you can actually Put a string in this end of the rat trap, run the string across 20, 30, 40 feet. If somebody trips that string, the rat trap's gonna go off. If that rat trap is close to where you're sleeping, you're gonna hear it, it's gonna draw attention and make you more aware of what's going on. I have a Leatherman multi tool, 
with uh, little extra different bits in here. So you have pliers, knives, saws, all kinds of things you're gonna need, possibly need. I have a pair of scissors. Why do I have scissors? Because if it's cold and wet and you need to cut up a blanket, we got some plastic bags in here that you can use for a tent, this is gonna be a lot safer, a lot easier to use than a knife when your hands are cold. Then I also have a large fixed blade knife. Why do I have this? To kill the zombies, duh. But it's also, I can use this to split wood if I need to. I do not have an ax in my bug out bag, nor do I recommend anybody have one, because with an ax, if you're cold, wet, and you're using an ax and you don't know how to, and you make a mistake, it could be legal. Highly unlikely you're gonna make that big of a mistake with it, with this knife or saw, which I have in here. Stay away from the axes, have a knife, helps you have it. Okay, now, main compartment. Foot heaters, warm them up, keep your hands, your feet warm. I have a bottle of off, why? Because guess what, when we go to a party and the mosquitoes are biting our ass, we pull this out, everybody's, everybody's good. I have a Bic lighter and I have extended, so if I want to light a fire again. Gotta have a bandana, multiple uses. I have two pairs of socks. One is wrapped in, um, I, the, the same thing I wrap my meat in, not that meat. <laughs> One of my venison <laughs> to keep it airtight. These I have out just because I don't want to have to break this open. But two pairs of socks because I like dry feet. Oh, this stuff. Repair wrap. It's basically a tape that you get wet and then you can fix anything. You can actually fix a broken arm with this temporarily. You can fix a muffler. You can fix a pipe. It's just good to have, because you never know when you're gonna need it. I have a bivy sack. A bivy sack is basically, I would call it a condom for a sleeping bag, but you can sleep inside this, get inside of it. It's waterproof, it's warm. Even without a tent, your body's gonna be a lot warmer. And uh, if you get stranded and you gotta stay warm, this is key. I have here a foldable canteen. I'm keeping it in the package I bought it in just because it's neat, but it does have a little carabiner tape loaded, you know, tied to a tree, whatever you want to do. But you can fill this up, put your iodine tablets in there, your um, purifying tablets, and you're gonna have good clean water. I have a bundle of the nylon paracord, but you have to make sure you get the right paracord. It's gotta be a seven strand paracord, which means when I open this up, there are seven smaller strands. We can use those smaller strands for uh, fishing line if you needed to. You can use it to, to uh, sew with. You can use it as dental floss. There's a lot more uses, but the other thing is this stuff is durable. It's super strong, and you don't have to worry about it breaking. Don't buy the cheap sh I have two construction grade garbage bags here. Why do I have two? Because I can cut these open, tape them together with my duct tape, and I can make a tent, a lean-to, that will keep me dry and warm in the harshest, snowy, wet conditions. Also, if me and somebody else are out and we gotta walk, we cut a hole in the head, we got a poncho that's gonna keep us good and dry. This is, you gotta go with the construction grade before you have. I have a pair of gloves. Why do I have a pair of gloves? Because I don't like my hands getting cold. You know what? <clears throat> Might have to change the tire. Having a pair of gloves is going to help if it's wet and cold out. You're putting chains on your tire in the snow winter time, don't have gloves, you're going to have those help you out. I have a 3,600 calorie, calorie brick of food. <laughs> I don't know what this tastes like. Probably tastes pretty sh**. But there's 3,600 calories here. So again, if you're out lost, stuck in a snow drift, avalanche, you can't go anywhere for a couple days, you got something to eat, you're gonna be able to stay warm, blah, blah, blah. I have here, in a baggie, separate baggie, so you can grab everything you want. Wants fish hook, split shot, and fishing line. So, even if you're just out screwing around, you're at your friend's pond, grab a stick, grab this you're gonna have some fun, because your comfort bag had the fun shit in. I have an MRE, which is another meal, ready to eat, military, can last forever. This could be way better than this, okay? But it's good to have this 
Because again, you never know when you, you know, yeah, I mean, it's barbecue chicken with sauce, black beans and potatoes. It's good. I have fix a flat. You should always have fixed flat, get a flat tire. It's gonna uh, get you out quick. Here's my folding saw. I do not like axes, I've said it before. This folding saw, guess what? Any one of us can use. Tired, cold, a kid, somebody who's not healthy and strong can use this axe, create firewood. The other thing is, if you really have to, this is actually a weapon. And if you pull this out, if you're in an area where you're concerned and you don't wanna use a knife to cut somebody or protect yourself with this saw, if somebody abducts you, swipe it across their face, you're gonna do some serious damage. And no matter where you hit them, you hit them in the knuckles, you hit them anywhere, you hit them in the thigh, this will hurt, inflict damage, and make you feel a lot safer. I have, yes, I know some of you millennials out there might not know about this, but this is called a paper map. This paper map is something that shows the entire United States on a map so that if your phone dies or you're in an area with no service, you can actually look on your map and figure out where you are and figure out which way to go and figure out how close you are to a town and maybe go, hey, you know what? We're only two miles from a town. Now your comfort level, your confidence level has gone up. Then I have a little bag, bag of what I call my overnight comfort stuff. I have some of these instant coffee packs. Because guess what? If you are out for a couple days, and you're used to drinking coffee, and you don't have any coffee, you're gonna become an irritable pain in the ass. So these, these coffee things help. The other thing is if you gotta drive, pound on some coffee. Got some ibuprofen, got some saline solution, got some hand soap. I also have some SPF 50, so when you're out on the beach and you forgot your lotion, you got it. Hand sanitizer, which you can also use to start a fire. Chapstick, which you can also use to start a fire. Dental floss, so all this in one bag, easy to grab. So, folks, that is it. That's all I have. Having everything on a piece of paper makes it really easy. And if you use something, check it off the list. Now you know you don't have it. The other thing is that the packages that I've done for Logan and Jake like this and Danny, I have a little mini um, cook set with it. A little pot and pan and spatula. Just makes it a little nicer. So uh, if you are out cooking or if you're out somewhere you can cook, I would add that to it. Bottom line is add to it, take from it, do whatever you want to make it more customizable to you. I can tell you this, every single person I've given this to has used it. And every single person literally said, like, I couldn't believe it. I needed whatever it was they got out of there and it helped. So, that's it. If you guys wanna add stuff, let me know. Uh, if you have any negative comments, I don't really need to hear them because I know there's always a better one out there. The zombies really aren't gonna come and get you, okay? There's no zombie bull They're not coming, all right? But people make a f ton of money off of saying they're coming. They're not going to. Anyway, drive safe, stay aware. Don't ever be afraid to cut some money.